I don't make threats. If I had any intention of killing you, Rashad, you would never see it coming. You would simply, I don't know, disappear like a ghost. You'll read about my next move in tomorrow's paper. What's up, power fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another power video. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about the possible resurrecting of ghost article that went viral a few days ago from Deadline. I know a lot of you expected this breakdown earlier from me since I've been one of the people who believe strongly that ghost is still alive. Yes, I know how sensitive the subject of ghost is, so I wanted to take my time with the analysis and be sure on my theories. Now that I'm here, quickly grab some snacks and let's ride together with this breakdown. I'll also be talking about how Omari is giving some clues on his Facebook account on his possible return. And of course, if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button and like this video for more power content. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now, as usual, let's get straight into business. Now, the possible resurrection of Ghost is not surprising to me especially. Even though the article wasn't straightforward like the caption, I want to draw your attention to something first, which is, first of all, why is this conversation even coming up in the first place? From the article, it states that, and I quote, Sources have revealed to Deadline there are plans for a London-based power spin-off, a project Catherine, president of Original Programming at Stars, will neither confirm nor deny during a recent interview. And they went further to quote her that, I'm not at liberty to answer anything in that vein except to say that what we love about power is the potential to spin off and to spin off successfully, which we have done, she said, which in theory we would love to do again. I love that you are hearing it. Now, when someone says I'm not at liberty to deny nor confirm, this should tell you that already there is something in the pipeline. If there isn't anything in the pipeline, she would have just denied it and this matter would have rested. But she knows that denying something that will happen eventually from the beginning can potentially dent her credibility for a very long time moving forward. Unlike Courtney Kemp, she can say X today and change it to Y tomorrow, and her credibility will not be questioned because she is a writer, and she can use that as a cover-up or a yaste to say a writer is a writer. But not everyone can just dent their credibility publicly like this. In other words, Catherine is telling us that she won't deny the London-based spin-off will happen and she's neither going to confirm by giving you hope right now. Now, let me tell you this. They know power fans can go crazy at the slightest hint of the possible coming back of Ghost. They know we won't let go of Ghost just like that. In spite of the fact that they are running the show and we are the audience, they are equally fans of the show just like us. So trust me, they feel what we feel they want what we want and they expect what we are expecting. That is why they can't just put an RIP on Ghost. Now, they're not putting the RIP on Ghost is the marketing chip they will use for this potential spin-off in London. I'll come to that soon. Now, why will stars even be thinking of a spin-off overseas? Who is going to be the headline character in there? And why would you and I watch it? What will be the key subject to attract power fans to watch a spin-off produced in UK. You see, power didn't just happen overnight. There has been some familiarities and relationships that was built over eight years now between the characters and their audiences. That is why all the spin-offs seem to be working for stars and they know it. So if there is going to be another spin-off and they just cancel Tate's influence spin-off, which is book five, who do you think in the original power can make a legendary appearance that will make the overseas spin-off worth the time and the money they will spend on such a production. Ghost. Now, think about it. We have Tariq with book two. Even though he wasn't people's favorite, it is interesting watching Power Book 2 now. Then we have the second most favorite person who is Tommy handling book four force. Dre is dead. Proctor is gone. Lakeisha dead. Lobo's dead. Reyna gone. All these people and many more are certified dead characters apart from Ghost. So if you want to do a spin-off and the fans' favorite won't be part, you will end up canceling it just like Influence. Now, let me come to why Stars is even thinking of a spin-off in UK and why Ghost is wrapped in all this. Stars is a US-based streaming service, so the only way to access it from abroad is via the assistance of a VPN. VPNs allow you to connect to the internet via a server. 
Now, Stars is launching eStars Play Arts service on Amazon Prime Video channel in the UK and Germany, where subscribers will get new shows on the same day as in the US. The service will be available for 4.99, probably 5 euros or pounds a month with a 7-day free trial in the UK. Now, not only that, Lionsgate backed cable channel Stars is rolling out a direct-to-consumer app in five countries including UK and France. The Stars Play app is also launching in Brazil, Germany and Mexico and plans are in place to launch in 20 additional countries by next year. Now, these are the informations I got from my research. Now, with this move, Stars will need a powerful content strategy that can assist their plan to widen their network in these countries, especially UK. They will definitely need a tool that can automatically sell their presence more in order to spend less on marketing and promotions. So imagine having a spin-off in UK where Ghost has been hiding all this while under the victim witness protection. The historic comeback of Ghost to power all the way in UK will move a lot of traffic there and that will be to the benefit of Stars Network. Because the question of the day will be, where was Ghost hiding all this while? Answer will be, he was in UK with Ramona or probably something. As Ghost trends, UK trends, Stars trend along with power. Now, for those of you who didn't know, Ramona is called Cynthia Adair Robinson. She's an English-born Ghanaian-American actress. Yes, part of her is from Ghana like myself. So it won't be out of place from them to put Ghost and Ramona in UK where she originally comes from. Now, remember this statement from Ken. He's dead. Right. Period. And there is more story to tell. Agreed. So that's the issue is like, will that story ever be told? I don't know. I want you guys to start leaving your thoughts in the comment section as I go deeper. Now, I know people will be asking how come Ghost is still alive. Answering this question again will sound like a broken record, but this time, I'll tell you what I haven't said before. Now, I want you to follow my lead closely on this. Ghost was shot at the end of the episode, right? Now, who is the victim here? Ghost, isn't it? How many witnesses did we have in this case? Four. Tasha... Tariq himself who did the shooting, Tommy, and the final person is Ghost himself. These are the real witnesses to what happened to Ghost, right? Now, there is something called victim witness protection. If you are a victim or a witness to a crime, the victim witness assistance program is designed to provide you with services while you are involved with the criminal justice system. Now, Ghost is someone we can consider as a high profile because of the position he was assuming the following day. I hope you are still following my lead. Now, in TV shows, fiction is allowed. The same way when it comes to law and legal issues, there can be a slight fiction. So for you to comprehend what I'm coming to say next, I want you to have an open mind beyond realism since this is a fictional TV show. Now, based on Ghost's profile prior to Tariq shooting him, if Ghost survived that and you are wondering where he was hiding, this is where the victim witness protection comes to play. Now, if there is a clause in the laws or rules governing WSEC that states that a victim witness can be presumed dead under desperate circumstances, then you can say Ghost's will that was read was working within the law. Because whichever threat wanted to take Ghost out must always be convinced that Ghost is dead. Hence the need to follow protocol by reading the will. Now, talking about the will, don't forget the structure of how that will was written. And don't forget Tariq is not yet benefiting from Ghost's properties. Aside his education that is being taken care of, Ghost's estates are still intact. Someone will argue that Kate got her share and he left an envelope for Tommy to which we don't even know what was on it. Then again, to follow protocol, Every single individual must believe that Ghost is dead, even we, the audience and the fans. So Kate getting her share of Ghost's will is not out of place. I believe at this point you are convinced that Tariq was not really meant to even benefit from Ghost's properties. And I want you all to answer this question for me. The fact that Tariq is smart and all, yes, agreed. Do you honestly think Tariq is on his way to achieve the GPA clause his father added to his will? You don't inherit right away. Um, all of your money is held in trust 
until you complete a four-year degree from a university. What? With at least a 3.5 GPA. After that, the floodgates open. Considering the fact that he's juggling between selling drugs and school, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Now, hypothetically speaking, let's say for the fact that Ghost is still alive, there is no way he will still be hiding in America now. Just like they did in Prison Break where Michael Schofield ended up in Yemen prison. So Ghost ending up in UK won't be out of character placement due to the circumstances surrounding his exit. And which character buildup do you think can expand Star's network more for them to have a huge increase in viewership other than Ghost? We all follow this show, but we don't mind thinking about the title of the show and how they want to use it. Power. Give it a thought. Now, let's move to something interesting here about Omari. Now, Omari over the years doesn't post anything about Ghost or Power or even hashtag anything Power unless it's someone's birthday. Now, he has over 3 million followers on IG who wakes up waiting to see a post from him for a possible comeback. Now, don't forget Omari is a smart guy and won't go where a lot of eyes are watching. From my research, this is Omari's Facebook account. He seems stronger on IG than his Facebook account. Now, let me run you through some recent posts he's been making suddenly with regards to Ghost. Now, suddenly, Omari started posting Ghost stuff, like Ghost once said. You can see the comments and the likes and the date he posted this one. Another one is, nothing can stop me from winning, hashtag Ghost. Now, he made this post before the resurrection article popped up. Guess who Ghost is on the phone with? Now, don't forget Omari is a poet and metaphorical representation is part of his life. Few moments after this post, he posted this one that reads, Marvin Sapp said it best. He saw the best in me when everyone else around me saw the worst in me. Thank you, God. Thank you for rebirth and resurrection. Then he added the prayer emoji with a clapperboard. Now, clapperboard means production because if you study Omari's post, when he is on set, he uses it. Now, if you just oppose these posts, it's likely that Omari got a call back in as Ghost. Because of all the pictures he has, he chose the one from Original Power. And like I said, Omari is a poet. Hence, this can be a representation of his mood. Now, take a close look at someone's comment here. So, this should tell you that I'm not far from the truth. Then from March, his post starts hovering around Ghost on Facebook. Ghost once said, and a lot more. Believe it or not, Omari knew if he does these things on IG, fans are going to go wild with deep thoughts. So he uses his Facebook account, which is about just 14k followers and 16k likes. And now, it is not a coincidence that months after Omari posted about rebirth and resurrection, Deadline dropped this article as well, captioned Resurrection. So just think about my analysis and leave your thoughts in the comment section. If I leave something out, I'll drop it in the comment section for you guys. Now, to conclude, I'll leave you with these rhetorical questions. The police was able to arrest Tasha for murder and she came out of it through defense, right? Tasha pointed accusing finger at Tommy as the killer, right? And Tommy was chased until he faked his death, isn't it? Question is, why is Tasha still in Wissek if Tommy, whom she snitched on, is dead to the cops? Lastly, why can't Tommy fake his death and Ghost can't? I'll leave this to you to drop your thoughts in the comment section and your theories. Do well and check my recent videos on Raising Canaan Season 2. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll respond as soon as I see it. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching. You can try all you want to bring me down to your level, it ain't gonna happen. You're not gonna get in the way of my future, and for damn sure, you're not gonna get in the way of my son's future.